Hello Game Makers, this is Game Maker Rob and today is just a quick video on having multiple keys for different inputs. Um, at the moment some people might have their checks like this so every time they want to check for something they'll check for VK up, pressing W and pressing up on the gamepad as well and if any of these are true then they're going to run this code here so it might be moving the player or moving the cursor up to the next menu item and that's okay but imagine if you have like a dozen of these for different things and then you end up uh, changing the keys so you want to change W to T or something you can have to do that for every entry that you've used it um, it can become quite unwieldy and confusing so there's actually um, an easier way to do this to have multiple key checks for different buttons uh, the way that I do it is I have um, an object something like a, a main object and I always have it as persistent and in the create event uh, I have my movement variables so I'm just gonna have uh, one for pressing up left down and right for this example and in the step event you're going to have this code so we're going to check for player input and all we're going to do is any key that we want to have for pressing left we're going to put up here and if any of these three conditions are true then global.press left is going to be true otherwise if none of these are true then press left is going to be false and it's the same for any direction or even you know, for holding down the button uh, whatever you want to do you can do you can do it in exactly the same way and if you ever want to change the keys you just change it here just one time is really simple if you want to allow the player to uh, change the keys themselves having it structured like this will also make it easy for you um, how you would use this in your game so um, for example if you want to move a player you would just have this in the player object or something so if press left then put your movement code here press right and there's another way that people do movement code as well that I've seen a lot of platformers do this they have uh, horizontal speed is the right button take away the left button and vertical speed is down button take away up button so we're just using the same variables here so whether you're pressing VK right uh, D or right on the d-pad on a on a gamepad <laughs> you know what I mean so whatever button you're pressing this is gonna return true if you're pressing one of them so it's gonna work no matter what button press uh, as long as you have assigned it to global.pressstar and then they just add the horizontal speed and vertical speed to the x and y coordinate and that's it so yeah i hope you enjoyed this one i will catch you next time bye for now